a spider also harbors secrets. Spider silk thread is pound for pound stronger than steel, and yet completely elastic. Imagine what we might build if we could produce a synthetic version. The first step is getting a closer look at spider silk. The journey could take us all the way down to what we call the nano world. The silk is a hundred times thinner than a human hair. On it, there's bacteria. Near the bacteria, ten times smaller, a virus. Inside that, ten times smaller, three strands of its DNA. And nearing the limit of our most powerful microscopes, single carbon atoms. Four of them are the size of one nanometer. Welcome to the nano world. This incomprehensibly small place is the new frontier. Exploring it will lead to huge changes in our lives. Our most advanced microscopes can now see this. Individual atoms, though fuzzy, proving years of scientific theory simulated here. And not only can we see them with the tip of a powerful microscope, we can actually move atoms and begin to create amazing nano devices. Some could one day patrol your body for all kinds of diseases and clean up clogged arteries along the way. Tiny chemical machines of the future may even repair DNA. One of the wildest things about the nano world, substances here behave differently than the same material does in our world. To us, gold is golden in color. But nano gold can be any color. It absorbs light and generates heat, leading to an idea. Injecting nano-sized gold particles into the bloodstream. Which are chemically coated to attach to cancerous cells. An incoming laser beam heats the gold particles. Burning the cells. The same breakable stuff found in pencil lead. At the nanoscale, it has mind-boggling strength. With it, we've created the world's thinnest material, graphene, one carbon atom thick. It's harder than diamonds, but nearly as flexible as rubber. Turned into a roll, it's called a carbon nanotube one of the strongest and lightest materials on Earth. <laughs>